What's up, everybody? Silver Baggins had a question uh, a couple days ago, or maybe it was a week or so ago. If you could only stack one type of silver, what would it be? Um, let's say Donald Trump put an executive order that says you are no longer allowed to buy silver except for one type. You're limited to one type. What would that be? It could be a coin, it could be a round, it could be a bar, it could be constitutional. So we're going to go over some choices. Leave me a comment in the comment section and let me know what type or what piece of silver, if you could only stack one piece, what would it be? Leave a comment in the comment section and I'm going to show you some options and then I'm going to show you what my choice is. People who watch my videos probably already know what my choice is going to be, but we're going to talk about these, uh, these choices right now. So this here is obviously probably not going to be the choice, but I always pull this out because this is one of my favorite um, types of uh, collector's coins. This is the 10 ounce year, the uh, year uh, Perth Mint Lunar year, the dog. And um, I love these down with the thickness, right? Or down with the thickness. So I love this coin. I love these 10 ounce coins. But this is not my choice for stacking. Um, possibly you like stacking 10 ounce bars. Um, this here is the SS Garisopa. Um, and... I'm not really a stacker of 10 ounce bars, but there is a lot of people in this community who love stacking 10 ounce bars. Maybe that is your choice. Um, this for me is not exactly my choice. This is not my number one. If I had one option, this is just not it. Nothing against 10 ounce bars. Here's another 10 ounce bar. This is a 10 ounce uh, Geiger bar. Once again, down with that thickness. Really awesome. Um, but if I could only choose one, these aren't them. So we're going to put these over to the side. Um, if you live in the UK, you might be stacking. This here is the Queen's Beast. And Queen's Beast, believe it or not, when they come out, they are at that price to where you could be stacking Queen's Beast coins. Believe it or not, I believe when these come out, um, usually on pre-sale, they're pretty close to American Silver Eagles. Um, but I do collect these, but I do not stack these. Maybe you live in Australia, and maybe you are a stacker of the Australian Perth Mint Kangaroo. This is pretty much the equivalent in the uh, in Australia to the. Um, American Silver Eagle in the United States um, but I actually only have a couple of these so these here I am not a stacker of if you're in Canada you might be stacking the Canadian Maple Leafs the Canadian this here is the 30th anniversary um, but you might be a stacker of Canadian Maple Leafs they do have a less of a premium than the American Silver Eagles do and uh, the uh, Canadian Maple Leaf is a attractive coin. Uh, the only problem with it in uh, recent history is that they've they were uh, very prone to milk spots. So a lot of people were turned off by them um, recently with their mint shield technology, which I don't even know what that what that means, what they do. Uh, possibly it's a new way of cleaning their plant their planchets. Um, to get the uh, soap or whatever they use completely off of it to reduce the uh, milk spots or slow them down or stop them or whatever the case may be. But maybe you are a stacker of Canadian maple leaves. I don't stack these. I do buy them every now and then for the collection, but I do not stack Canadian maple leaves. Chinese pandas have a pretty high premium and recently and I did a video on this I've been turned off by Chinese pandas for a couple of reasons um, 
This one here is actually a one ounce version, but uh, recently, I believe it was 2016, they started only um, where they only put 30 grams of silver instead of one troy ounce. And um, the premiums really didn't go down, they stayed the same. So I'm not really a fan of the Chinese pandas. They do have pretty nice designs that change every year, which makes them a, a, a decent uh, collector's piece. But the problem with it being a really good collector's piece, you know, I mean, if you like them, then that's one thing, but they stay mint, you know, tens of millions of these things. So um, with the high premiums and the high mintage, I tend to stay away from Chinese pandas even though I do have a couple of them in my collection. This is a pretty cool coin bar. You could be a you know, you could be a stacker of 1 ounce bars. Odds are you're not a stacker of this bar cuz this one contains a bit of a premium, but maybe you do stack, you know, I believe probably most of the people in this community stacks um, probably one ounce bars, one ounce either one ounce generic bars or generic rounds. Um, like I said, probably not this type because these do can this is a, a a considered a coin. It's a coin bar, and they do have a bit of a premium. Um, Maybe you stack Donald Trump rounds, or maybe you stack, you know, just any type of a generic rounds. Um, this is a pretty cool one. Once again, down with the thickness, down with the thickness, Sal. Sal is down with the thickness, I think. Down with the thickness, you got the White House. But um, this is just another, this is a two ounce generic round. Um... So maybe you are a stacker of two ounce generic rounds. Maybe you're a stacker of constitutional. This here, we have Kennedy half dollars. You could be a stacker of of this here. I do stack um, constitutional from time to time, but I do not. This, if I had one choice, I don't think it would be. I don't think it would be. Um, constitutional if I had two choices this would probably be my second choice would be constitutional to stack we're just gonna move that over for a minute and keep on going um, maybe you're a stacker of Mexican Libertads and I know a lot of people like the uh, the Libertads and I'm not I'm just not too fond of the Libertads I do have a few of them in the collection. The um, smaller sizes, the fractional pieces, do tend to have a lower mintage. That's why I bought some of these 2016s, uh, the half ounce and quarter ounces. Um, but this would not definitely not be my choice to stack. Um, speaking of down with the thickness, maybe you are a stacker of salivate metal rounds salivate metal rounds or the uh, multitude of furtitude rounds down with that thickness maybe we're down with that thickness and we stack these type of rounds maybe you're a stacker of generic community uh, pieces you could be a stacker of um, poured silver like uh, silver slacker is you know I'm not a I buy poured silver for the collection I know silver slacker is a big time stacker of poured silver um, and I do like poured silver I like buying poured silver but I just don't buy enough of it to consider myself a stacker of it um, but I do have a few pieces it's uh, nice every now and then to buy um, but what I do stack my choice of uh, stacking if I could only choose one it would be the American Silver Eagle this is the same one well I'm not gonna give it away um, but this would be my choice to stack is the American Silver Eagle it's um 
highly recognizable in the United States and all over the world. You could go into you go to any country, show them a silver eagle, ten nine times out of ten or ten times out of ten. You go into you know any coin shop all over the world, they know what this is. They may or may not know what this is, right? I mean, we all, most of us know what this is, um, but who knows? Everybody knows the American Silver Eagle. Um, Constitutional is great in the United States, um, and you can actually use this for money. If you had to, you could actually use this for face value. I wouldn't do it, but, you know, if it was uh, desperate times and you had to, you could use this for face value, um, but it's worth a whole lot more than that. But my choice is, if I could only choose one, it would be the American Silver Eagle, face value, $1. And um, I know a lot of people don't, aren't, are not fond of the American Silver Eagle because the, the date never changes. Um, it's the same old design year after year. This one here is a 1988, by the way, as you can see. Um, but this is my favorite, my favorite to stack. And um, so that's it. Thanks a lot, everybody, for watching. And uh, go over there, check out the uh, Silver Baggins channel. If you're not already a Baggins dragon, go over there and check out the Silver Baggins. And... Um, yeah, thanks a lot for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I will talk to everybody on my next video. Thanks a lot, everyone.